YouTube, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Power 9 Quest. Today, we are doing magic, but we are sadly not going for the Power 9 itself. I went to Target and I bought one pack of every single set they had in Magic the Gathering. So, I'm gonna open up these today. Hope we pull something good. Either way, we're gonna have fun because opening card packs is super fun. That's why this channel exists. Uh, I love doing it. So, let's start it out. We have War of the Spark, which I haven't opened up too much of this set. Uh, we have Core Set 2020. I've opened up a little more of this. We have Modern Horizons. I've opened up a ton. I actually opened up enough to put a complete set together and have a ton of extra cards. Um, we have the new sets, Throne of Eldraine, and the exciting one, Throne of Eldraine, the Collector's Booster. This is gonna be awesome. Also, real quick, yes, these were from Target, but if you have a local gaming store, please support them over Target. I know Target's convenient, it's right there to just grab a pack sometimes, uh, but if you can, if you're gonna buy any substantial amount of product, go to your game store. Those are people that actually enjoy gaming and are there to support your community, and you should support them back. Target is not going anywhere, I promise. But your gaming store, if you don't support them, they might, and you want that, you want a place to play. Okay, so one by one, let's go, with, let's go through these and hopefully pull something fantastic or something just good. Let's aim for good. Let's have our bar at a very medium level. Wait, let, let's just go, come on. All right, we are here. All right, we're gonna do War of the Spark first. And uh, you know what? I, this is apparently, a, a, like a, this, the fans like this, right? Ma the Magic community like this set. I This is like the one set that I did not bust a bunch of. Um, so this is good. I think I busted one of those fat packs and then that was it, I was done. Uh, because I just, I think Modern Horizons was out at the same time and I loved it. Okay, Iron Claw, Cravod, Spellskeeper, weird. All right, but the, they are very pretty cards. Look at these artworks. They're not boring. Uh, <laughs> this is just a creature right here. Um, you know, it's funny, but everyone, at least back in the day especially, everyone like just starts magic and like, I want the biggest numbers and that's it. So every time I see a creature like that, I just, I'm like, I'm reminded of my old, young self. Um, these days, I really just like fast, direct damage. Um, honestly, I love getting the pre-built decks and just seeing what concepts like the people at Magic, you know, at Wizards came up with. All right, we're getting through the comments here slowly but surely. Um, and now we are in the uncommons. It's a cool artwork. Fireman Vessel enters the battlefield tapped at two mana of different colors. Cool, all right, uncommon planeswalker. Nice, and roll reversal. Um, I don't know if this card is worth anything. I will check at the end, I don't think it is. Exchange control of two target permanents that share a permanent type. Okay, well for only three, there has to be a catch, right? There you go, there's our rare for War of the Spark. Um, now, after this I'll be a little more up to date. I busted like three booster boxes of this. Uh, and I'm really bummed, I, like, I used to be so into the core sets, and I feel like lately they're just like, I don't know. I don't know. What I really want, and I've said this in a video, and I want them to go back and like, do do a new set. Like, new cards, but just have the look of the old cards. I feel like that would be a really cool throwback, and uh, people would be really into that. Maybe maybe that's been talked about, I don't know. I don't really act actively pay attention to the... Um, the, the what's happening in the magic community more than just the, the channels I watch on YouTube. Uh, shock, there's cool. There's the new the new lightning bolt, right? Although the wizard, what is that? The one, uh, the wizard's lightning or whatever. I, I forget what it's called, but if you just have a wizard, it turns into a normal lightning bolt. That was pretty cool. I, uh, I have a deck that plays with that. Gift of Paradise, Pattern Matcher, um, Unchained Berserker, Overcome. Oh, nice! Okay, well, at least we got a Mythic. Uh, I, th I think I have that. I don't know. Let's see what it does. So, three red, two colorless, one cavalier. Enters the battlefield, discard any number of cards that draw, and then draw that many cards. That's a cool little thing. Um, creatures you control get plus one, plus zero, and gain haste until end of turn. Cool. I'm down with this, dude. It deals X damage to each opponent. Wow! Okay, cool. I mean, he does, you know, he costs five, but still. Cool. I'm down with that, dude. Oh, we got a foil, too. Angel of Vitality. All right, onward to Modern Horizons. So, if you guys saw last week, my magic video was the, uh, the, the God Pack. All right, here. 
God Pack 2, and uh, I don't know, I need to, so my next old magic video, and it's funny that I'm, I'm trying to tell the story when I'm opening up Modern Horizons, because I love this set, and the rare is like right here, although I have gotten packs where they're all at the back too, like some boxes have it in the front, some boxes have it at the back, but most of the time it's right here on the front, which it is in this pack, okay, so did we get a foil? No, we didn't, we got Winds of Abandon, all right, could have been better, I love this set so much. Uh, but cool. Wow, that's a cool artwork. Um, so yeah, I kind of want to uh, apparently leave a, a core 2020 card right there. All right, we're down to the two last packs. Um, but I want to do. I'm going to do a video talking more about the uh, the God packs and the story leading up to that. And then uh, maybe in two weeks of so one week, I think you're going to get an unlimited booster pack. And then in t in two weeks, you might get the next beta starter video. Um, but I appreciate all of the people freaking out about that. It was easily, like, I feel like the luckiest person in the world that happened to me. And uh, the story continues on, and uh, it's it's kind of dramatic. The way, and I'll explain it in the next video, but it's, it's an interesting story of events. Now this, look at that artwork. Gosh, it's October, it's right now, I think I put this up on the day before Halloween, so it's appropriate. Um, this box, I, do, I busted, a box of this, or maybe two. And I immediately, then I realized when the collector's boosters came out, I got into that. So I, I'm kind of interested to go back to more of these uh, packs. Covetous Urge, Keeper of the Fables, All That Glitters. All right, what do we want? Um, what's that green card? The Great Henge? Is that, is that the one? Oh, we're getting the back Lance Paragon. Did we get a foil? No. All right, but this pack is going to be exciting. Uh, so, yeah, these aren't too great. We got the Mythic. Uh, that, that's cool. But even there are some solid rares, especially in, uh, in, you know. Uh, sorry, brain, brain thing. Uh, in Modern Horizons, great rares. Uh, in this set, even, with the newer cards, you know, some of these, uh, the Garrick, the, uh, the Oko. I would like to it. All right, but we are into it, guys. Um, Charming Sleep is our first card. A Ginger Brute. Ogre Errant. Ogre Errant. <laughs> I'm starting to say it all fancy. Bartered Cow. Oh, cool. There we go. There's an alternative fairy tale time. Let's put that right there. And Witch's Oven. Ah, oh, that glow right there. These foils. I hear they're doing another collector's th situation for the next set, too. All right. Ooh, all right. Alternative. And then we go to our story time move all of that out the way. Ooh, bonus mythic. Alayla Artful Provocateur. Pro, pro, pro. Dude, I like start saying these half as a joke, then I realize I just come out like I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, all right, Fervent Champion. And did we get a box topper? Well, I guess we'll know in two seconds. No, that would have been right here. Okay, Happily Ever After. All right, well, we got the extended art. Fervent Champion. We got a mythic. Uh, there you guys go. That is all that that Target has to offer are these sets. And uh, I do, I, I, I'm pretty sure I said something mean in this, but uh, if you have a local game store, please support them. Target's not going anywhere. And I know it's it's just convenient to get a Target pack here and there, but your local game store, those are people that care about gaming. And uh, if you're supporting them, you're supporting your local community. You have a place to go play games. So uh, there you guys go. I wasn't, I feel like I was kind of brain dead while filming this because I got a lot going on today. Um, so I'm sorry if I feel like I just turned on my YouTube channel, but uh, let's let's talk about this stuff face to face. So I mean, really, all we have to talk about are these two random mythics. Uh, can you guys? Sorry, I have it all auto focus. And I never do. So there you guys go. Boom to boom. Uh, which you know, it's getting a mythic mythic at any time is awesome, but uh, especially with the collector's booster. That was a pretty bu bummer pack, and that's a twenty-five dollar pack. That, that's terrible. But and also, I want to show like, look at this. Can you see the guys see the this, I should not have this on autofocus. Can you guys see this bend? It's kind of hard to, yeah, oh, look at that. Look at how the light, the light goes across it. It's a bad bend, and the whole pack is like that. If I can find it. Oh, here. See it? See that, like, it almost like corkscrews. Like, it's a really weird bend. And that was a $25 pack at Target. So. I didn't really realize that because they come in the, the plastic cases. They come in the cardboard uh, outer casing, and I didn't realize that the pack was all beat up. So that's a bummer. At least, like, I got a bad pack, and it was 
At least I didn't get a bent good pack, is what I'm trying to say. I just adjusted the camera. Either way, all right, so a limited booster pack uh, next week in the Magic World, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about the God Pack. Um, if you haven't seen that, go watch it. It's uh, probably the best video I, I ever upload on this channel, uh, and, or will ever happen to be in the card gaming world. It's so good. Uh, and I just, I feel like, like I don't deserve to be that lucky as awesome as that video is. Uh, it's just, it's unreal. So everyone that, that has said kind things about it, I appreciate it. Uh, I do what I can to reply to comments. It's just, it's just hard to. Um, but I'll talk more about that next week and then you'll get another beta starter. Um, either way, in the meantime, Pokemon, Star Wars, uh, all this fun stuff. Yu-Gi-Oh! I did a Yu-Gi-Oh! video recently. Um, so thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for watching. I will do be back with more videos. I talked way too much. It's okay. Outro. Talk more. Okay, and another video done. Thank you so much for watching. I'm frankly insanely impressed that you're still here. If you'd like to see more from me, though, hit that subscribe button right up there, and it will sign you up to see more videos, and I would truly appreciate it. Uh, when I, you know, when I write my will, I'll probably, probably include every single person that subscribed to me.